Cat McCausland, who hit some crucial three-point shots in the final two minutes, calls it the biggest victory in Iowa basketball history. So much fun to watch. Sports director Rod Mackey joins us now with Live Eye 2 in Iowa City from Kent McCausland's home. And, Rod, you can't say enough about last night's win. Unbelievable victory. We're making Hawkeye history here as we come from the home of Kent McCausland and J.R. Koch. We've got four players here with me. I might hear a fifth coming in as well, so let's quickly get to some of the interviews, talk about the excitement. We're going to start with the man here to my left. This is Jason Bauer, a huge steal last night, which led to Dean... JR, get that phone, will you? Which <laughs> led to that Dean Oliver trade tied it up. Have you ever been a part of a bigger bigger victory than that? Uh, not at all. Uh, this was exciting for us. It was hard to get to bed last night. Uh, although we still went to class, it was good. A uh, good victory for us. Hopefully we can uh, just continue to build on this win. Very good. From Jason Bauer to J.R. Koch, you get that phone all right? Yep. Okay, yep. good. Put it on the way. Okay. Twelve points last night, not a bad dozen. What time did you finally get to bed last night, J.R.? Uh, it was about 3 o'clock. A little late, uh, but it was fun. We did the... Uh, what, tell, tell us what happened in the locker room last night quickly. Uh, there was a little excitement and then a little dance, a hokey pokey, uh, you know, kind of tribute to Hayden and uh, the football team and uh, just kind of a celebration at the moment. It was, it was fun. And we will show the hokey pokey later in sports, but first we're going to continue with the interviews. Duck down there, Ken, or get that phone. We're going to go with Jake. Jake's now another big game. Jake, your first year with the Hawkeyes. Nice homecoming, huh? Uh, not too bad. You know, everything worked out well for us. We all played real well as a team, and uh, uh, we got the victory, so we're real happy with it. When you guys were down 18, any doubt? No doubt at all. When we got Kent McCausland, the shooter, the trigger, we're, uh, we're pretty confident. So. Speaking of which, he's right here with me. Mr. McCausland, you were hot. You called it the biggest victory ever for, uh, for yourself as far as uh, Hawkeyes go. Just take us through those final seconds. Uh, uh, it's, it's tough to it's tough to put it into words because it was just it was exhilarating, you know, uh, to hit the last three and then uh, for Jr. to throw that great pass down to Louis and Louis made the layup. Knew we were up four. The game was pretty much in hand. We just didn't want to do anything real stupid and uh, <laughs> and we were able to pull it out. And then the uh, the huge pig pile, which was just uh, that was that was great. The only thing more exciting for Kent than the game itself was what we're going to show you right here. Where's that clicker? Who's got it? Check out what happened on ESPN last night after the game. Listen up. Okay, we're going to uh, do it again because it didn't work that time because I turned down the volume. Here we go. Listen to Dan Patrick. Awesome. You can't stop him. You can only hope to contain him. Iowa up one. Iowa's you know you've hit the big time when Dan Patrick throws that line at you. Kent McCausland, J.R. Koch, Jason Bauer, Jake Jakes, they're all here with me now. We'll have more later in sports. Amy Bryan, back to you. Speaking of big time, I noticed that you didn't have any of those guys stand up next to you to show you how short you are. Absolutely. I look huge when they're move. sitting. Smart move. Thanks, Rod. Thanks, Rod. I have a feeling that phone's going to be ringing a lot tonight. In yeah. the Amy, just hanging out with some Hawkeyes, roasting some marshmallows. You know what? I think we may even talk a little basketball next. Stay with us. We are at the House of the Hawkeye Heroes, the house or apartment actually owned by J.R. Koch and Kent McCausland and like Brian said, I wish I had an apartment like this, a fireplace in it. Not bad. The reason we're here, what a show these guys put on last night, snapping the 62-game winning streak the Kansas Jayhawks had on their home floor, and they did it in style. Everyone contributing. We're going to start with the man here. How's the marshmallow coming there, Jr.? It's good. It needs a little bit more cut. I know. Jr. Koch here with me. He's a uh, dozen points last night. Big game for you. Put the game into perspective. How big a win was it? Ever been associated with anything like that? Uh, the only one I can think of that comes close to that was uh, my freshman year versus UConn. But, you know, with the magnitude and uh, them being, you know, the streak that they had going on, and uh, I think that, that one last night was much better. Very good, Junior. Get back to the marshmallow. Jake Jakes, first year with the Hawkeyes here. Win like this, how much can this propel you guys into the later part of the season? I think this is a good stepping stone for us. You know, this is going to establish, you know, ourselves as a uh, force in the uh, Big Ten, and uh, hopefully we can just build on this and uh, keep coming together as a team. They were certainly a force last night. In fact, if you haven't seen the end of the game, let's provide it for you now. The date, February 20th, 1994. The result, Missouri 81, Kansas 74. The significance, it was the last time the Jayhawks lost a game on their home floor until last night. After 62 straight victories, the streak is over. McCausland for three. Got it. Ball was tipped. Going to be stolen. Range will score it. Shot clock running out. It's down to four. Down to three. McCausland for three. Oh, got, it. got a man free. Lurgan scores. The clock runs out.
<laughs> nice tribute to Hayden Fry. Kent McCausland, you guys did the hokey pokey. Excitement was in the air. Oh, yeah, it was. That was a, a tremendous tribute to Hayden Fry and, and just a tremendous tribute to the, to the entire victory. It was great. Glad you guys play basketball better than you dance. Jason, you're the final guy here to talk to. As far as this ball game goes, it's behind you now. Iowa State on deck. That's right. Uh, we know that uh, this win won't really mean as much as if, if we lose to Iowa State. So putting it in perspective, we're still going to enjoy this victory, but uh, we know we have to move on. It's a long season. Very good. Fellas, thanks for letting me into your house. Don't forget Iowa, Iowa State next week. One other football note we've got to pass along as you see the pregame show and the game, both right here on News Channel 2. Congratulations to John Austin, the defensive line coach for the Iowa Hawkeyes. Landed on his feet. He I'm live. I'm here in the home of J.R. Koch and Kent McCausland. We're going to finish the marshmallows, and we'll send it back to you. Close.